of the earliest memories I have of East Carbon are um, probably when I was three or four. We had an old, I think it was a 57 Chevy pickup, and my dad used to um, let me sit in the steering wheel because it was a big, wide wheel. And he would drive around like that, and I could got to sit in the steering wheel while he drove. And so we, we would drive around the town, and that's the earliest memories I have of the town itself. <laughs> bug hunting is what he called it. And so we would um, try to find as many bugs as we could, and believe me, in that little town, it wasn't that hard to do. It, you would, we went two blocks over, and it's kind of the end of the town, and we would just wander around in the, in the um, sagebrush, and, and uh, that come home very dirty and happy. There were six kids at one time all living in that house. I was born in, in that area and went you know, directly from the hospital to that house. So for four years, six kids lived in that house, which is amazing because it's a small, very small three-bedroom house. You know, in those days, it didn't feel like we were crammed in there. My parents had one bedroom. The three older girls had um, one bedroom. And then my brother and sister and I had another bedroom. The kitchen used to be really small. My dad, um, I think he did this by himself, probably with my brother, added on another part that used to be kind of just an old rickety porch they added on to the side of the um, of the house and and expanded the kitchen out and that's that's what that was like you do today, but we would just ride our bikes and we'd tell our moms, bye, we're going, and we would just go for, you know, really most of the day. And so we would go very fast. My brother built me this great bike, and he built it kind of from scratch and extra parts, and I rode that thing all over, and so I knew all the back uh, trails. And then as I got older, my friends got dirt bikes, and we spent a lot of time um, on dirt bikes out there, um, kind of the same thing we did on our bikes, causing trouble, though, going slightly faster. The town at the time while I was growing up, that means the 60s and 70s, I, I graduated from high school in 1974, so into the mid-70s. It was a very prosperous little town. It was a mining town, particularly coal mining. If you go past the Kaiser Steel Mine, which is up there, and you go far enough up there, all you'll find basically are um, foundations of homes in that old part of Sunnyside that's now been completely torn down and, and demolished. It's a nice place to be from. It was a good, nice, you know, wholesome kind of upbringing, but I personally couldn't get out of there fast enough. 